Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure this sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. This is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, one loss. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Sergei Pavlovich. And now to see his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. All right, give me the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of these martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab 
uses kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start thinking about strikers. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Got a single collar tie. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Back to his feet. Clipped with a right hand counter. Oh, big elbow. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. And he landed the right hand there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just misses with the left hook. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Hands high, hands high. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. He is all about that left kick to the body. Back and forth we go. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back is truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. And they separate. Great punch. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the last round. Oh, there we go. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Lee's got the full mount. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here staying busy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Lees has got full mount now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Now he's trying to get to you. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Okay, Luckily, he two. made it to the end of that round. All right, let's get to round two. 
He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Oh, single collar tie here. Big ball was land. Now he gets back in range. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Ooh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's gonna fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Huge block there. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Right hand punch from the clinch. That is how you scramble, folks. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of way. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the puck. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. There's no tell on that leg kick. How good is that right hand? Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, and he connects with the punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed as the cheek throw is crazy. A oh, little single collar tie there. Loaded up there on that high kick. And we got a fight on our hands. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Single collar tie now. Oh, nice right hand. Big punch lands through the middle. Distance gets the single collar tie. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Oh, and he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Buckled him earlier in the fight, and the fighter is still open to damage there as he continues to target that sensitive area. Effective punch there by Lou. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right hand punches the clinch. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Ooh, head kick lands is hurt. Lee gets caught with that punch. Right on my face.
right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Let's go, guys, fight. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Body kick is blocked. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Busy on the bottom, he's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, huge hammer fist landing now. It's over, you can't take these punches. You gotta, you gotta escape or you're gonna finish the fight. Oh, that's a good right hand. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Good work from the top here by Lou. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. <laughs> Missed with that attempt. Body kick now by Lee. Got clip with the right hand. He's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Nice head kick. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without it. Big body kick. Three minutes remain in the round. All right, he'll engage in a single solo tie. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Left hand punch from the clinch. Real quick leg kick. Nice punch there by Lee. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Still a nice body kick land. Nice counter shot there. Try to establish that jab. Big head kick land. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit tall. Double leg takedown is true. Under two minutes to go. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar, or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked up. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. All 
Sorry, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. Well, you've got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Plus right hand is true. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Lou. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Right under the elbow, the body can land. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. All right, single collar time now. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to working the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the early rounds. Takedown defense holds up. That was comes the separation now. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Takedown lands. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have it. Oh, looks like he's transitioning an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. He's gonna tag armbar here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. It's in there deep. There you go. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Grounded pound strike there now. Less than three minutes to go here in round number four. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Oh, nice. This might just be a matter of time. Somehow stays in the fight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use your... Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, huge knee to the head, perfectly timed and placed. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. 
Ouch. Just misses with the jab there. Effective strike there by Lee. Nice head kick. He blocks the punch. Right punch is there. It's very tricky to control that body kick. Single collar tie here. Take down a template and it's good. 30 seconds to go in this one. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. it up going to the head mixing in some body shots liver kick stuffs the takedown no problem look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick he missed with that jab attempt there and they separate. Nice body to the front of the elbow. Effective punch there by Lee. Thank you. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Wow. Trying to double up on that jab. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Yeah, he's fixing it all up. Hook attempt now, blocked low by Lee. Oh, big punch land. Slips that left hand. Lance. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. That's a big strike right there. Trying to find a home for that right hand. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice head kick. All collar tie. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Kick to the body by Lee. Boom. Beautiful knee. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh! Both guys landing big shots. And a knee. Well, 
He continues to fight. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single back to a high crotch. Oh, oh my God, he switched the lock to a high crotch, rotated him, and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, we're operating inside the closed guard now. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like he's getting in deep. Oh! It's in there deep. There you go. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, right into side control. Up the body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out. Just go for the finish. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground pound. Oh, he's gotta get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get into the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hip, be really heavy at the point of his base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound with very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. The final horn sounds. Boom, body kick right there, landed perfect. decision is now in it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Sergey Pavlovich. All right, nice job by him there.